Isotuximab pomalidomide dexamethasone combination is available in the UK for patients as fourth line of therapy. And this treatment has now been available for a well over 24 months in clinical practice. We have now found that patients who were frailer are also receiving a combination of isotuximab, pomalidomide, and dexamethasone. We have previously published data in Hemisphere showing that the progression-free survival of patients receiving isotuximab, pomalidomide, and dexamethasone, this is all comers, was comparable to the ICARIA study, which gave us the license for isotuximab, pomalidomide, and dexamethasone. This particular abstract focus on frailer patients. We wanted to see if frailer patients were receiving enough of the treatment and also whether their clinical outcomes was as good as patients who were non-frail. We found that patients with a very frail comorbid picture also had clinical benefit with the addition of isotuximab, pomalidomide, and dexamethasone. But clearly, they had more uh, discontinuations and slightly higher toxicity burden than would be observed in patients who were more fitter. We also found the PFS to be slightly lower in comparison to fitter patients, but it still gives us uh, the data support to continue to offer isotuximab in combination with pomalidomide and dexamethasone for frail patients with relapsed refractory myeloma as fourth-line therapy in the UK.